so as you can probably tell we've got some rust um, so what I've done is I've bought some of this cure rust stuff um, it's really really windy so this little thing here that's the mic I'm sorry it's just going to keep flipping in and out of shot yeah I've bought some of this uh, cure rust stuff I've never used it before and I was going to crack on and do it now um, but I've left it a bit late in the day and it says on here that, uh, to apply my top coat after three hours um, and to do it sort of as, as soon as possible so I don't really want to leave it overnight so I'm going to do it tomorrow but the plan is um, I've got some sandpaper, sandpaper. I'm just going to flat back the all the, the chip paint um, then I'm going to try this, give it a go if this doesn't work I'll just sand back all the rust and then I'm just going to uh, paint it up with some white hammerite I know it's not a perfect paint match to the van and I know it's not going to look amazing but it is going to protect the van from the rust which is the most important thing I'm not that bothered really I've got a little bit around a wheel arch both wheel arches at the front and I've got a couple of touch up bits at the back to do that's it so I'm not too fussed but yeah so I don't it's like five o'clock now it's gonna be like eight o'clock uh, before that stuff dries and then I'll be putting the hammer on it on at like half eight nine and they do give a potential chance of rain so I'm just gonna leave it till tomorrow uh, but Emily's had a parcel arrive today which she's super excited about so um, I don't really get it but um, yeah so tomorrow she can open that I'll crack on with the rust and then we're starting we're pretty much starting to get the van prepped for our trip so yeah so exciting I will catch you guys in the morning morning guys welcome back um, it's Saturday morning which can only be mean one thing we're doing more work on the van <laughs> um, I think what are you doing Lou? yeah so she's uh, doing sanding um, down on the wheel arches and stuff like that and I I've got this snazzy little thing. Ooh. Oh, it's on face track. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to use the cameras. <laughs> I just go next to it like this. So, that's... so yeah, you got this. Um, it's a 12 volt Hoover. I'm a little bit obsessed with Hoovers. We live in like a two up, two down house and I have three Hoovers. Um, but you would you would need them if you lived like with Louise who's going bald because she's wears a hat all the time um, AJ who is half husky and just molts like there's no tomorrow and Summer should be bald anyway with the amount of hair that like comes off of her so although it's not an essential item for most people in their vans but I really wanted one so I'll get to open it soon and because she really wanted one she's got one obviously so basically I'm just taking back any loose or chip paint and just any grease and all that I'm going to take all that off and then I'll pop the, the cure rust on um, I'm not going to sand back all the rust uh, to see if the cure rust stuff works so we'll see Hard at work as always isn't you? Can I have that in writing? No Because <laughs> that is not what you say indoors That's because it's not true No not indoors but on the outdoors I do work hard My mum's here. She doesn't like being filmed, so let's just poke out. What's that? That won't fit in the barrel, will it? Yeah, fit in the barrel. Fit in the barrel. So while I'm doing the rust, uh, these two are just basically uh, clearing out the remnants of the van build that's been stuck down the side of the house because the tips have been closed. It's been hard to dispose of, so. I think that now we can travel. Our neighbours must hate us. <laughs> We're the state of the side of our house, so it's about time we cleaned it. They hate me for the mess, they hate you for different reasons, eh? Everyone loves me. I'm like... They do not. Oh, that's good pallet wood, that. You ain't gonna do nothing with it, it's been here for months. <laughs> <laughs> you can delete that. I've had to momentarily stop the rust treatment, so we will come back to that. But the trouble is, when those two get involved with the clear out, everything goes within minutes. And I mean everything. They don't even think. Like, they wanted to throw away a perfectly good piece of angle iron. Uh, so I'm going to supervise that, make sure they don't throw away anything useful. And then, yeah, then back to the rust treatment. You should be excited. You're allowed out of the house now. This is a big trip for you. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up and put it nah, on. Yeah, you'll manage. Oh. <laughs> hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'll help you. I feel sorry for Emily. Oh, you're going to pop out. Yes. Oh, you're going to... This bit? This bit? Yeah. Why I gave birth to her, I'll never know. <laughs> this bit. 
She loves me, really. No, you don't paddle like that. How do you paddle? Like front crawl. You've got the moves. Right, what are we doing? Right, back to the rust. Uh, so this is where I'm at, so I've flattened it back, uh, wiped all the grease and that off. Uh, I've, as you can see, there's still some rust. And the reason I'm going for the cure rust is because you always get these little divots and the rust gets right in there and you can't, um, you can't get it out of sandpaper. So I'm hoping, I've done, I've done some bits already, so I'll show you guys that in a second, but I'm just going to stick some, some of the cure rust on this one. And then we'll have a look. Uh, so as you can see it goes on blue um, so we'll leave that to soak in and then um, yeah I'll go and check now how the other ones are doing and then I think we've got to wait about three hours before I can apply the, the hammer right so this is one we had on the driver's side uh, footwell getting into the van this one was pure orange uh, I did this one about I don't know 20 minutes ago half an hour ago and there is still a little bit of rust under there so I might I might go back over it with a bit of sandpaper and see but it said to leave it three hours so I'll wait the three hours and and see how it is because uh, it is starting to spit a bit now so i don't really want to put the hammer right on anytime soon anyway and also it's it's really windy so the audio which is normally crap in our videos maybe you know that little bit crapper but i'm doing my best it comes well back <laughs> so exciting Little attachment. Oh. Clean you off. Oh, look. Long bit. Getting the cracks. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think before I speak. What's that bit for? Get in the cracks. <laughs> but it's just how it comes out, you really so. All them people on Team Emily, I don't think they're thinking again. <laughs> no, this is why they're on Team Emily. <laughs> I'm I'm funny. How cute it is. It's um it's like a normal size hoover for you. So Louise has done this little um drawing, I don't know if you can see that very well. I will obviously put it on Excel and just like make it. Um but we need to change the fuse. Yeah, because in my fuse box for the, the cigarette lighter, because we installed one of those original cigarette lighter type things, I've only got a four amp fuse. Now the hoover is six amps. So I'm going to put, I've got a seven and a half, so I'll probably whack a seven and a half amp fuse in there. I think that's right. A ten might be better. If anyone knows if a ten's better, let me know in the comments. But for now, I'll go over a seven and a half amp fuse. Yeah, but I would have used it in that time. Yeah, oh yeah, it would be fine <coughs> for now, but I'm just saying for the future. Okay. We're not going to blow up straight away. Right, We're not that no. freaking lucky, are we? Honestly, how cute is this little hoover though? Look at it. So cute. It's got a really long hose as well. Like way longer than some of the ones that you get for in the house. And open this up here, lets it all out, closes back up. Lovely. And 
Look how long that lead is. There's loads of it. Loads of it. Oh, look, right? So, this is what I'm talking about, peoples. All oh, that crap in there. <coughs> Let me see. Is that old dog and cat here? Yep. I'm ecstatic. I love a hoover exciting for me if you are a little bit like over ott with like the cleaning and stuff like me um we will stick a link below um in the video and stuff like that for me it's you know the hairs on the carpet would have been the, the hardest thing i think for it to get off obviously it's not a proper hoover and it's just plugged in there so does the job all right morning uh it is now day three i think of this vlog um the rust treatment's gone on fine it looks it looks great so ready to go but the weather took a turn for the worst yesterday so it did start to rain so i just left it overnight which i didn't really want to do but i've had to um yeah and then today we'll start painting it now if you're one of those people that um is particularly particular about the exterior of your vehicle then you might not want to watch this because i don't really care i just want it to be protected and look relatively neat so yeah, hammer right with a paintbrush it is, um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, if you're wondering where Emily is, uh, because the weather took a bit of a turn for the worse, we had a few uh, beers in the garden in the rain, and she's not feeling too clever today, so she's took AJ off for a long walk, I think, to clear her head, um, and we will see if I can film the state she's in when she gets back, but there is a line, and I think I might be crossing it, but we'll give it a go. Look, you can tell this is Emily's side of the bed, look. Lemonade and easy reach, even her short little arms will get there. Easy reach snacks. So, so she is with her, her cheese puffs. So she's back. You're not fine. Tell them how you're feeling. Lovely, actually. For those of you that have asked, AJ is doing much better. His hip is on the mend. Um, he's still a little bit lethargic and slow, but he's definitely getting there, isn't he? Oh, yeah, definitely getting there, yeah. So yeah, AJ's on the mend. This one, however. What, what? Why do you have to go so close to me all of the time? What did you do yesterday? <laughs> Had a garden party. And how are you feeling today? When I say garden party, it was like me and Louise. <laughs> <laughs> um, not good. No. No. Um, Porn star martinis, wine and beer are not a good combo. Just uh, as an FYI. We don't really drink. No. Uh, as a general rule, so that's why uh, we're suffering today. Well, you're suffering today, aren't you? I only had like five drinks. I was sensible, I didn't mix my drinks. Okay, so let's have a look at this rust. Uh, so this is, I don't know how well that's going to pick up on camera, but this is where the um, the cure rust has dried. So I can still, I oh don't know, I can still see a tiny bit of orange in there, but it's negligible. So I'm hoping that cure rust is enough to protect it. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just whack some uh, white hammerite straight on top. Okay, so it's been the best part of the day now, but I'll just quickly show you. I've put uh, a second coat on. Uh, it definitely, definitely needs a second coat. So if you're going all the way back to bare metal, two coats. So close up, it's going to look crap. Um, but yeah, this is where it is. It could even possibly do with a third coat, but two coats will do us for now. Um, so yeah, it's not a perfect match and it's not the best job in the world, but from a distance, you're not even going to see it and we're protected. So, so yeah, that's the main thing really. So yeah, that's how you deal with deal with rust. Yeah, well, that's how I deal with rust. Um, you could be a lot more anal about it, but I really can't be bothered. Um, Emily's made a, a reappearance. Here she is. Oh look, uh, the uh, the cheese cheesy puffs have now been replaced with uh, penguins. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? <laughs> Lovely, on top of the world actually. So this has been our general position for the best part of the day. Uh, she's done a lot of moaning. Are you going to tell them what you told me, uh, what you've eaten today? <laughs> no. Are you going to tell them why you feel so rough? What was it? 
It wasn't your fault, was it? <laughs> no, it's yours. <laughs> it's yours. No, nothing to do with the drinks you had. Well, yeah, that is well, but I only had a drink because of you. Oh, I don't even drink. Because you made me. Um, one thing I quickly want to talk about, we keep getting a lot of questions about this. This is our, our tablet mount. It's a, it's called a gooseneck tablet mount. I'll put a link in the description to one that's similar. I don't know if we're about to get this exact one. We've had it a couple of years now, haven't we? So, uh, But it's dead simple. This just undoes and then it just clamps onto any... I mean, you can clamp it onto any kind of surface at all, really. And then the tablet just goes on there and then you can just bend it up into any position you want. So for us, it's really handy because we can have it there if we're in bed and then we can spin it right round. And then if we set up this end, uh, we can sit up here and watch it. So yeah, it's pretty pretty useful. So gooseneck tablet mount is what it's called for all those that have been asking. Oh, I wish I'd filmed that. <laughs> you did. Oh, I did. <laughs> That is going in. Okay, so that is about it from us this week, guys. Um, I know it's only been a short one, but we haven't really had that much to do in the van, have we? No. So we're just going to... Mm. Most of our stuff's in here, so we've just got a little bit of packing and then we're, we're ready to go. Um, if there's not a video... Because you'll be watching this on Friday, so that should be our first day of our trip. So if there's no video uh, a week from when you're watching this, we'll try and get it out Sunday. It's just because cause we're going to be away uh and i haven't done the wi-fi in the van yet there might not be anywhere for us to upload it so mm -hmm. if it's not friday we'll try and do it sunday yes yeah uh and it, excuse me <laughs> <laughs> such a minger <laughs> so classy um if you like this video please do consider hitting the subscribe button and if you ding the little bell notification that means you'll never miss like upcoming videos and give us a thumbs up yeah give us a give us a like if you like the video um um yeah we will see you next time see you later Dad. Dad.